there is so much to say to the world, so much love to express. And even though one can never fully express it, we are doomed to keep trying forever. That's what eternal love is about. It is ever elusive, slipping away from us, inexhaustibly. Inner defenselessness is as vital as water for any human being and any highly developed sentient creature. It liberates you in a way that nothing else could. Outwardly, you may fight for what you hold dear, but as soon as you let that deep, inner, beautiful nonchalance disappear, the thrilling game of life will lose its appeal. I am a guest, a wanderer. I am never at rest. I never stand still. I have come here to share my love. But love itself, that inner feeling of grace and unity, is more than the ability to express and share it. You might not care. You might not even be there. But the sun is always behind the clouds. I am free from you and your approval. I look upon your world impartially, evenly, because I am not of it. I don't belong here, or indeed anywhere but my soul. freedom. The sound of this word is like the wind, fresh, and calling you along, wanting to take you somewhere incredible and new. Not many of you can stay free as you grow up. It's very difficult to stay free in your world where people wear their defenses like armor. The older they are, the thicker their panoply. I can go right now. I have no problem with that. Can you imagine me going away in the blink of an eye at this very split second? Puff! And I'm off to another realm. Well, I am back. Fly with me. I have returned because I want you to fly with me. You and I together. Let's go. Actually, we are suspended in eternity right now, this very moment. I feel it. It's such an elevating sensation when you come to think of it. The pure beauty of existence. Being uninhibited is elixir, intoxicating, healing, elevating. Overindulgence and permissiveness are the flip side of that waiting like vultures to pounce on your bright soul midday, on your inner equilibrium. Your own love needs no protection. You don't have to defend something indestructible. But if you refuse love itself by replacing it 
with pleasures of a lower order. It's fun <laughs> at first. Later on, it's sad and painful. Want to try? I am love and harmony, but I have also come here to make mistakes. It's part of the fun. My body is a necessary mistake, for example. Time and space should not be your shackles. They should be your vehicles. You can ride them lightly and carelessly. Sounds great, doesn't it? It takes some training before you can ride a horse or a bicycle or time and space. I have nothing to hide. I will not conceal the weakness of my current body from you. Uninhibited. It's so ineffably good to be free of the stereotypes of ordinary life. To be free from gloom in silence. To be free from loneliness in solitude. This feeling of freedom is dangerous but it adds to the smile. Don't you want to run away from the obligations, the chores, the weekday repetitiveness, to find yourself in a dreamland somewhere? where you could be so much better than you are here. The circumstances are weighing us down if we betray our inner sanctuary. If we soar above the time and the space of our lives, we are creating the dreamland right here, not by changing the circumstances, but by changing our attitude. Vulnerability, like a sweet-scented hurt, cleansing your soul. Let it in. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to lose your body. Don't throw it away rashly. The light of my life is unquenchable. I see you basking in its warmth, playing among its shafts. I am not a prisoner. You are. The computer of your mind is a carefully crafted sequence of relations. Where is the warmth of that chain of connections? Everything begins with soul. The door of your house and the face of your neighbor the cleanliness of your planet and the strength of your society as a unit, an entity which is an organism composed of many cells. Let your pain turn into a smile. Their problems are not your problems. Your fastidiousness may anger the low. 
Your only task is to soar high in the sky of your happiness, to chase the clouds of joy, contentment, and speech with great speed. Because speed helps you to forget the regrets and offenses weighing on your mind and making you downhearted. Fear not, I am with you. Faith is a highly curious thing as long as it lives in your heart in the sincere silence of your soul, unexpressed. It remains real and true. The moment you begin speaking about it, it turns into a lie, formalities, and implicit protection of something which it is pointless to protect. Didn't you notice it? When you speak about your faith, it always feels like you are defending something. Spatially limitless. The blooming of the true flower of song is delectable. My intention is like an icon in a golden casing. It grows and expands, covering miles of Muslim music. The voice of your tender planet is calling to me. I heed it and make decisions of breathtaking luminance, resounding and resonant, the resort of lovely outreaching plays deep within the art of my perception. The strongest person is one who deliberately chooses to be vulnerable when he can easily be aggressive. Love is the hard way. I am fire and song burning ceaselessly. The beat of my heart has a bent for beneficence. The continuation of the river trust shall go far into the bosom of the magnific ocean. It will have celebration there of its unique superinducement. Its children, hope, kind and gentle, might need some octochords before they seal up the freeway of their mistakes. Lemon tries to connect to the sour bliss of the new lure of its slime friend. They play together in the acidity of the green dawn opening up in the auspicious sky. And then methylhexanamine joins them. But neither of the friends is jealous. Sigh, oh my lucid heart, sigh in deep space. You are not alone. Love is your unity. Freedom is your luck, patience is your power, laughter is your immortality. <laughs> the host of mounted 
soul-bound cavalry stand in solemn attitude, waiting for the impetus when it strikes the eyes of their higher level they shall start forwards ignite your spirits ye high horsemen rush like waves on the seashore trample under feet all the cowardice and despondence the hearts of flowers will bloom for you as you win over your weaknesses and see them as training meant to strengthen your spirit of orchid. I bend the iron bars of I do not break them. It is unnecessary. I only bend them, and this will suffice for me to get out. I am free. Brimful of high love is my soul. My inner world is a guest room where all are welcome. I see the newcomer. Hepto and Lethia getting ready to dance. My impulse of embrace rushes over to them, engulfing them head and all. She is wearing a headgear that's beautifully quilted. Ninety neon neckties reconvene beside the stoically breathing stove of red heat. It caresses each of them, being tender and patient in a motherly way. Take in my essence. Accept the fibers of my being. Greet the everlasting warmth of a living spark of the divine. Caress me, my unfurling lily petal. The universe of tranquility lies inside the chrome recesses of my inner state. Sing to me stateliness and grace, ye messengers of the holy truth. I will not lose your impetus. It is not within the range of possible for your humble servant to discontinue our nexus. Cliffs upon the serenity shore will cross impact the passages of the unknown. Take my bare and defenselessly open hand, shine. Let it transform into something close to something that feels like home, warm, melting the eyes of a million years of callous hibernation. Invite her eyes for a spiritual meal, friend. May the two of you feast on love that is never-ending. In the eyes of your soulmate, you will find galleries of impressionist paintings full of wholesome pain. The salubrious pain in the paintings is your only way to salvation shine. 
reach for heaven. The all-consuming freedom of higher emotions you shall endure. You can take it.